so so let's get into it as usual uh it's time to go starting um normally you first step is to sell or buy anything in the shops before we begin but you're all broke you have zero gold because you've just entered the slug tavern for the first time and uh yeah as a result you're newbies you gotta you gotta go get some shit so in this case uh we are going on to step two uh the dm populates a swag shop with awesome stuff let's fucking go let's get it get some cool stuff mine right. <laughs> mine this will go like, smoothly well, once we've done it a few times i'm sure one of my favorite parts about the dungeon slug was is this like the starting because this is crazy shit happens here. you you never know what's gonna happen right yeah uh one second uh, is this the right one did i forget the name of the macro oh yeah that is the right one so we have five of us so i roll this five times two three four five Okay, uh, let me drag him into the swag store. So give me one second. At the moment, no one's gonna see into it. Let's get some shit in there. Oh, I forgot I made some of these items. Good, good, good. All right, swag shop. Make it visible to everybody so everyone can see into it. Uh, the swag shop is, of course, um, oh, I didn't activate the pink thing for this, did I? No, I didn't, huh, it's later. Uh, the swag shop is in the upper right corner, big label, swag. Uh, let's get everyone into the initiative. Obviously, no one's got any of the initiative boosters right now because it's the first time. So if everyone oh wants to roll initiative, you can. Fuck that name. That is hilarious. Ostentatious uh, Swank? Is that what you're talking about? Canuck Chucker. Oh, the Canuck. Oh, for the item. I thought you were talking oh, yeah. about his goblin. I'm still, I'm still floored over the Ostentatious Swank. Yeah. <laughs> That's just too good. Oof. Hey, All not bad. Right. Okay. I wasted my fucking 20 on a test roll. I'm so mad. Oh, shit. So the way this oh. is going to go is we basically go through the order twice. Everyone's going to get a chance to um, take two items, like once each pass. Um, that way there's like, we don't get the entire list. You'll get two of these. These are only items that are lasting for this run and this run only. Um, as we do other runs and you start getting the golds to extend them, you can make them maybe run for multiple, you can la make them last for multiple runs, but for now, yeah, it's just for this run. So, starting with Baba Boo, a friendo god, aka we, Buddha. <laughs> we both rolled 17s. Uh, same like uh, Oh, you did. You know what? Of... Both of you, because like you have the exact same everything, uh, both of you roll off again. Rock, paper, scissors? Yes, please. Thank you yeah. for letting me know. Yeah. I didn't even notice that. Are we uh, just, just another D20. Just another D20. Oh, come on. Luck. Oh, Ooh, another 17. Yeah, yeah, it's all you. Okay, yeah. We're in the same order then. But thank you for letting me know, because that, that would have been unfair. So, Baba Booey, friend of God, you are the first one to pick. Um, you have okay. a lot of shit here. Canuck Chucker, roll, Holy Rollers. I'm actually looking at that Canuck Chucker. Cause like it's a thrown hockey stick. I I made the most of these a while ago. It's been like eight months since I've seen half of this stuff. <laughs> it has the thrown property in a normal range of twenty feet. <laughs> uh yeah, plus three magical Long hockey range. stick. Of course it's got the thrown property. What else do you do with a hockey stick? Uh, shoot a puck. <laughs> um yeah, when you throw this weapon, it turns into a... No, it, it doesn't get thrown. When you throw the weapon, it turns into a Canadian wearing flannel that yells, Yeah, fuck yeah, bye! <laughs> and then turns back into a hockey stick once the attack is complete. And then it come, it flies back to your hand, which is nice. Uh, complicated broad straps? 
the fuck? Some of those bras are crazy, yo. Oh my god. Okay, let's. This and I take funny. I can't take credit for a hundred percent of these. I've had help from some other people as well. BHG has helped me create some of the slugs and anomalies and stuff. Our friend Brian has also like assisted. We've had many think tanks on Dungeons. Many think oh, tanks, oh, even oh. live stream some of them. Jesus, Pretty cool stuff in here. I just looked at the commoners' rags and holy damn. Uh. No, I'm just looking quick through here. No plate, that's not gonna go well. Hey, what's this? It's just a nope. Nope. I don't remember. When holding this shield, you have advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects, and spell attacks have disadvantage against you. So good. Other than that, it's a regular shield. So it's just a shield of like, you know, cast a spell against you, and you're like, nope. Sticky mittens. So, uh, I will say one thing: consumables yeah. are the only things that last more than one run. So technically, one of those three consumables, if someone takes it, could last a an extra run. Of course, the the offset of this is usually they're not quite as insane as some of the other stuff. Jilly juice. Hmm. No, I, I'm taking that Canuck chucker. <laughs> it's speaking yeah. to you. That's sick, yeah. It is definitely speaking. So I just loot item. No, I don't loot item, right? Uh, yeah, you can loot item if you want. Um, it'll go to your overlord for now. Hit the loot item. Did it work? Uh, you should have the ability to do so. <clears throat> uh, if not, I will just drag it over. You know, I'll just drag it directly onto your character then. That'll just be easier for now. Let's just do that for now. So, Big Kev is going to get the Canuck Joker. In the oh my god. Oh, that's good. He's not even a Canuck. No. <laughs> yeah, that's the funny part. He's the disadvantage on all rolls. Uh, and let's make sure you are indeed. Oh, it's already set as proficient. There you go. There you go. You can, you can equip it as need be. Oh yeah, so you've got the Canuck Chucker. Let's move on. Uh, all right. Tumbleweed Keanu. What do you want? Uh, I almost want the complicated bra straps, because that's, that's fantastic. <laughs> but, that's yeah, it's a hard decision. Uh, oh, that's just the, that's the reflavored uh, bands of Bolaro. Yeah. But once again, this is like one of the more like important and fun aspects is going through like the random shit you get at the beginning. It's so there's no time limit on this. Like as long as you don't take the next three hours. <laughs> yeah. Feel free. Look yeah, through. I'm going to take the commoners rags. There you go. That's really good armor. Yeah, I just moved it over to uh, my sheet. Oh, okay. Oh my god! You were able to like that drag it over, catch. sweet. <laughs> so you can just you you can just drag and drop to your character then, right? That worked. Yeah. Good. Okay. Great. That makes my life easier. I like that. Mm. Uh, Polyon. Um. Oh no, they're all pretty cool. If I just take the immovable rod. Sure, sure. I gotta find a good name for that one. If anyone knows of a good name for the immovable rod, let me know. Um, I'll drag it. Do you want me to drag it over for you? I, I just dragged it over. You got it? Okay. Yep. All right. And feel free to drag it on just right onto your character sheet if you want. Um, since we don't really need it on the uh, later once we start managing more items we might want to but for now it's fine but we'll get rid of that sweet the anchored anchor the anchored anchor oh it could Wait, make it like nautical themed the, didn't you take the bra, bra straps 
No, he took the commoner's rex. Yeah, yeah, I took the rex. Oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Jeff Bezos. Jeffrey Bezos. Uh, we're gonna go and take that holy roller. All right. Let me know when you've got it over. I don't know why the loot isn't working. Oh, cause the it's paused. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a my bad. So you should have been able to loot. Yeah, there it works. Oh, I'm such a noob at this. <laughs> there we go. Now you guys can actually just like fucking click loot. Uh, Goblin King Ostentatious Swank. <laughs> this is so good. The Stuck Stick. That's another good one, too. I don't know. I, I like the, the idea of the anchor, though. Like, just carrying around this big anchor. Take the Breaking Wind Fan. Nice. There you go. Now you just drag it over. Uh, actually, should be able to click that little hand icon to loot item now that I'm not a dunce as much. And it should just take it. Did it work? I'm um, gonna push the hand. Yeah. It, it didn't grab it. It, it, it. When you click the it didn't, the loot item, didn't work. Okay. I'll just. I'll no, just, I just. I just. I just dragged it over. You dragged it over. Okay. All right. You got it. I'll just uh, I'll delete it then. Up. Back up to the top of the order, Baba Booey Friendo oh. God. What do you? Uh, what's your second thing you're giving the big cat here? What the fuck is Grease of Deathness? What was I thinking? Oh, you gain freedom of movement, but you're deafened during this time. <laughs> I think I'm taking the uh, off-brand Red Bull. <clears throat> All right. I don't, also remember, that too. I don't remember what that does either. Uh, Spell slot. Oh, oh, it's yeah, it's a, a basically a potion of, of energy. Yeah. Oh, but it's like a super powered one because it's a spell slot of your choice. Yeah. Did I mean, the, it doesn't matter at this level, but yeah. Did you uh, did you were you able to loot it or did you just drag it over? Dragged it. Okay, I will delete it. Tumbleweed Keanu. Oh, do I take the sticky mittens or the complicated bra straps? That's... What do the sticky mittens do again? Um, way to type things, twin. <laughs> I'm going to leave when, that in there. Leaving twin it's like the there. monks um, deflect missiles or grab the arrow <laughs> for a back thing. Oh, yeah. You, if you, yeah. And then it's that, like, if you already have the monks deflect features, it just adds the D10 to it. Yeah, so you're just like getting a class feature out of it. Or the bra straps, which a little more powerful, but more of like a one use item. I'm just taking it for the for the pure action and economy. Yeah. Sticky mittens. You took sticky mittens? Okay. Yes, sir. Drag right. them over. Boop. I don't, I don't know why the loot isn't it. BHG got it to work. I don't know why it's not working for everyone else. I didn't get it to work. I dragged it over and deleted it myself. Uh Oh, oh you were able to delete it. Because, yeah, I gave you guys full ownership right now. Cool. Apollyon. I guess I'll take the bra straps. <laughs> <laughs> Someone really wants, uh, like, the, this group's like, we got to have the bra straps. Uh, yeah, feel free to delete that when you've when you've taken it then since apparently you can Yeah, there we go. Let's work for me. I like that Ninja for Bezos Okay, uh, I'm gonna take the nope. I've got cheese shield. I expected that That's a good shield <laughs> uh, and, and Josh Carter can use it perfectly no, Sorry, once again, seven. a game like this, there's a there's gonna be a lot of like things in the air, like balls in the air being juggled around. So it's up to you to remember what you what your stuff does, because I'm not going to. I'm barely gonna remember my own shit apparently, because <laughs> as we can see. And finally, Goblin King ostentatious swank. I'm gonna take some, take the jelly juice. 
the jelly juice. I don't remember what that does. One hour yeah. after drinking it, you get 10 temporary hit points that last for an hour. I don't know why I said hour twice in that. I saw it for time to same duration. Uh, you are under the effect of the bless spell. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. Did you, you got it over then? You're good? Yep. I just dragged oh, it over. Excellent. All right. Let's end your ability to see that because you don't need it anymore. Hell yeah. Next step. Uh, the over. So. Uh, we already did the swag thing, each player. So uh, we, now we're going to reconfigure so yourselves to choose your character. We only have one character. So go ahead, right click on your username in the lower left corner. User configuration. You're going to want to click release character and then find and bind yourself to the character you're going to use. Jeffrey Bezos like pulls his phone out and says, send worker 357. Now, at this point, everyone wondering, why did we even bother with the Overlord thing? Um, eventually, once you've got multiple characters floating around, because you're going to get a whole crew of them, you might not know which character you want to play till after you've taken items from the swag. This is why we had it originally. Um, obviously, in this case, it didn't matter as much, but in the future, when people have, like, a whole crew of, like, four or five guys, yeah, it's, it's good to have that one central, just in case. Oh, right. Uh, so you bound yourselves to your shit. You've added your swag stuff. You don't have any money for stuff. Let's get some. Um, now we can do the slugs or the anomaly first. I'm going to give you the guys the choice. Do you, What do we want first? The slugs that are the individual things or the anomaly that's going to affect the dungeon as a whole? Slugs. Yeah, slugs. Slugs. Slugs? Okay. Mother Slugger. Let's see Slug where you. it goes. Let's see where this goes. We're going to clear this out for now. All right. Uh, let's go. Around. Yeah, of course. Uh, so let's let's start with Apollyon. We're going to just like, well, here, like, we're going to do this on a player, player base anyways. Savage, let's see what you're going to get for this run. You are going to get investment strategy. Um, uh, nope, that sucks for you because you have no money to start with. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna roll again for you. Normally you get to, like, invest money and then get it back afterwards, but no. Oh, here we go. Uh, and you can drag this right to your character sheet. You're, you get the tasty slug. It has three charges. As a bonus action, you can lick your slug and expend a charge. You roll randomly below for the effect, and it could be anything from healing yourself, getting blinding speed, becoming a quokka. I dragged it over. Sweet, sweet. Uh, all Wait, right. You get a rage? Yeah. Damn. It's a, yeah. There's numerous rage? things. He, and he, it's, it's got three charges, so you never know what you're going to get. Um, mm. uh, so BHG, you get juxtaposition. Yeah. Treat advantage as disadvantage and disadvantage as advantage. Oh shit. I always love that one. Fucking like close your eyes and start firing blindly. Maybe not close your eyes, you still gotta see your target. Don't still. hide. <laughs> so you got juxtaposition, you know what to do. Yeah. Uh, Buddha bot, you're gonna get... Knife hands. You have knives for hands, and hands for knives. Holy shit! Each of your hands is now considered a plus four dagger. You are no longer considered to have hands. So, everything I have is pretty much toast? This I'm is the ranger? one slug I will give a reroll on if you really don't like it. I, I've seen a lot of people love to take it because it's fucking crazy. You get plus four daggers. But if it completely screws your character over, I will allow a reroll re on knife hands. Yeah, because I'm like an archery ranger. Yeah, you are kind of focused <laughs> for archery. Um, yeah, we'll roll randomly for yours. So we just get rid of the knife hands for now. You're going to get Doom Clock. You have one in-game hour to complete the dungeon or you die. 
Oh, but you okay. miss knife hands now, don't you? Should have taken those knife hands. Man. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys oh, want to do a uh, short yeah. rest? <laughs> yeah, we're short resting immediately. He's just <laughs> out. Kerbathia, <laughs> you are getting suddenly bears. One of my favorites. As an action, you can th uh, throw this slug up to 30 feet away. When the slug lands, it explodes, summoning bears around its location. These bears are not under your control. They are angry, hungry, and want to kill everything. Uh, yeah. I love it. Uh, so you can drag that to your character sheet as well. Yep, that's in the future. Suddenly now. bears. And finally, TWA. Loud Mon noises. For this oh, run, you constantly emit a thunderingly loud noise, making stealth checks involving sound impossible. Okay. Wow. Cla clapping cheeks. What's the noise? Uh, wow, what, noise that's a good noise. question. What is the noise? Is it just constant fart sounds? Like, what is it? That's up to you. I'll let you think on that. But I get a clove. It's the Golden Girls theme. The <laughs> Golden Girls theme, like super, super loud. Thank you for being a friend. Like, yeah, like blaring in your ears. Like I get it. Hey, it's a slug just singing it. Just he's <laughs> chilling with me. He's just attached to me, singing the Golden Girls theme song. That's that's awesome. Okay, all right. Um, and then for my own sake, I'm going to put this uh, the anomaly in here. Uh, so the anomaly is. Glass houses. Um, uh, limited line of sight and fog of war are disabled. The walls have become transparent. You can now see the entire dungeon. Bad news is they see you as well, and everything is now after you all at once. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you guys a choice, because that might be a little intense for the very first run. Did you guys want to accept that and hope for the best, or do you want to do a reroll? I want to hear the other votes first. Okay. I, I, I'm not afraid of a TPK. <laughs> okay, let's run it. I'm going to run it. You going? All right. Glass <laughs> houses. I only have an hour to live anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we look at it. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, give me one second here. I need to. <laughs> it's rolls like these were the reason why we had two characters to start with. <laughs> Now at least I won't have to stealth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Golden Girl steam brought them all. Uh, I think this gets rid of the <sighs> darkness bit too. Let me double check. I'm okay with that if it does though. Line, limited line of sight and fog of war. I'm just dragging you guys out. W.A.'s bungle. Uh, and that's that's it. All right. Yeah, so you got... Um, oh, oh, that's the label is main C. And first. One second. Some of these, some of these were not uh, labeled right. Shine shine's right, bongo's right. Uh, conk bonk. You are not. Conk I like that name. Bonk. Conk bonk. Update. Good. Get you out here. Yours is good. Uh, oops. Helps if I change it first before I drag it out. I'm just gonna put yours as Big Kev. There we go. There we go. So, what has happened, the dungeon this time, is you are in the the Dungeon Slug Tavern for the first time, and the brewmaster has let you know that um, they've only recently acquired the Dungeon Slug from the absolutely slow-brained people that owned it before, and they really let the basement go. So they, uh, they actually need you to go down, to send down some of your minions to go clean out the basement, and that's what we're going to be doing. Um, he has, he knows that there's, like, mold problems down there and stuff, and, um, 
fuck, you can see fucking everything. You're even gonna see the secret room. Here we go! I guess I should have preloaded that if I was smart. This is an easy anomaly for me to keep track of. <clears throat> Sorry, that was my bad. I didn't preload. I got so excited. I'm like, yeah, let's go. So, do, do the walls still exist? The walls still physically exist. They're just clear and you no longer seem to have to worry about darkness. Um, and actually we can, we can even do like this since it's all sort of lit up now. No, no fog, no wall, like the walls are still physically there. You have to open doors and move around them, but you can see everything. And as soon as you enter, everything sees you. So, uh, that's fun. Give me one second here. I am, I now have to add everything to initiative. Oh God. Uh, they hear the Golden Girls theme fucking blaring and they all look over. <laughs> okay, shit. Josh Carter's just looking on in horror like, I don't even know how I got here. One minute I was sitting with my wife and then I was here in my uniform. Oh my god. <laughs> Normally you do this room by room. <laughs> like you guys said oh. you were fine with glass houses. We're rolling in this right now, I guess. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah because this is just going to be one big combat. You have like no choice at this point. Uh, -uh. Um, I will. I will show you what you're up against because there is definitely some sort of like fungal infection thing going on down here. So you've got these myco zombies, and you have these spore-ridden skeletons. And that's what we got. Uh, I did not expect this to be one giant combat, so here we go. Shine, shine, you are you are the first one to react. And it is up to you if you want to use that like new HUD interface, the Argon Combat HUD. That's the little crossed sword icon um, on the toolbar on the left. Okay, I see. Um, probably just move 30 feet. I guess we can see everything, right? Yeah. The walls still exist. Like I said, uh, you can physically touch them. And there's a bit of a sheen to tell you where the walls are. Like, they're not, like, invisible per se. Like, it's as if they're made of glass. Okay, I'll probably just move, like, into this hallway here. Yeah, do it up. You should have, uh, I mean, the door might. You might have to open the door, but... You have uh, access to all that stuff. Then it'll be my turn. All right. Uh, the Mary spore-ridden skeleton. Uh, shit biscuits. Uh, they are not using the secret doors. I was running them that he didn't know the doors exist. So I guess I can see the secret doors now. All right, fine. That's what we're doing. Um, so, uh, 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 uh. I like that it even tells me how much movement I have left after doing that. Um, so that was, a, that was just its movement. And then it's going to, to take its action to dash. Two, three. Uh, four, five, six. Right. And it's just gonna stay there for now. Is it already used an action? It can't open the door. Uh, well, shit. Oh, uh, yeah, he's just moving. 60. As a dash. Indecisive spore and skeleton. Okay. Uh, Lides with one. Oh, that's why he's gonna go around here. It's 
40 feet. That's 50 feet. That's 60 feet. Pretty Myco Zombie. They still, they have a 20 foot. 40 foot to get to there. All right, Josh Carter, Amazon worker. Uh, you do not have a break today. Oh, <laughs> Again? At least I brought my water bottle. <clears throat> Got a pee somewhere. Are we sticking together and trying to get treasure first, or are we just trying to, to kill as much as possible first? I don't think we're going to get to decide that soon. <laughs> <laughs> probably just kill everything. Oh, oh we and just, everything, we should right? probably yeah. just find a way to like funnel them in one way so we're not fighting all directions. I will let you yeah. know one thing. There's the one chest that is red that is known as a blood chest. Uh, it involves a little bit of a sacrifice to open it, so but we'll get to that when we come to it. That hallway that you guys are in right now might be kind of scuffed. Like, they're going to come from all ways. But, you know. You're right. I just want to say, let's go to my, the room. Like My plan us. is to just stay in this room. I can use my, my, fuck my impen, like, fuck the rod or whatever to wedge a door so they can't get in it. And they got to come through one door. Yeah, and we already got that goblin out there as bait. It's going to work. It's, it's great. It's perfect. All right, yeah. I, I'm cool with that. <laughs> it's bait. Uh, Narrow-minded. I guess you're going this way. Jesus, this is fucking. This is fucking crazy. At sixty. Big Kev. That's not Big Kev. What? Oh, big Kev. That's not. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna go there. And which door are we keeping? This front door open. Probably gonna come in from both sides. Well, I mean, if we can get the other one closed with the immovable rod. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, like lock the one with the immovable rod so they can't get through it, and then they have to funnel through the one. Um, yeah, I'll just, I doubt anything's gonna make it, but I'll just uh, ready uh, an action to throw my Canuck Chucker. All right, all right, so if you, if something comes, I mean, obviously not within sight, but like within a directional a range. <laughs> Like, basically, if they end up, like, here, or, like, tw any 20 feet away from me. Okay. All right. Um, this, this, this may, this may go horribly for you guys. But I give you a chance. You chose this. You chose this. Yep. Jesus. Fuck. We've got this, guys. We've got this. So these default backup characters you made. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> one for each class. <laughs> you can always bring one in at a moment's notice when you die. I will just, I'll drag it in, give you permission, and they're just, they're a drag and drop, good to go. Oh, the only thing they don't have is a name. They have a picture and everything. I think we. So that's 20, 30, and we're gonna get our first attack. We're gonna get our first attack. So shine, shine. Let's see here. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Yeah, I think the 22 is gonna hit. You think? Yep. <laughs> uh, that is eight damage. If you guys do this smart enough and funnel them, you might be able to survive this. We'll see. Because they'll get bunched up in that hallway. 
Shot. There. Kong Bonk. This is nuts. Kong Bonk, you're the one with the movable rod, right? My bad, sorry. I always move. Um, I'm gonna just move toward the other door and I'm gonna use the rod on the door. I don't have the rod on me. Maybe we should use it on this door down here in this hallway and then. Like funnel them with the I will let you know that because you can see through it, you can see that that's like a giant pile of rubble. Okay. It oh, looks okay, like the okay. door is pretty much already blocked. Oh, beautiful. Then carry on. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was able to just block in this door off here. Okay. So you're just going to yeah, set the movable rod there? Yeah, I don't have the. Un the rod on me. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, it's probably some of the overlord. Right. That's fine. We know that you were the one that took it. So you just go yeah. like click, click. You put in the, 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 you know, we haven't decided the anchor, anchor, the stuck stick, whatever it's going to be um, in front yeah. of the door, uh, holding it shut. Like, even though it looks like glass, you feel it. It still feels like a solid, like iron bound wooden door. So everything's still made of the same stuff, even though it looks weird. So it looks like. And and um, hmm. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna say the door opens towards you <laughs> instead of instead of like randomly yeah, determining no. that. I was yeah. <laughs> but I'm gonna. You guys have a hard enough time. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna say the door. I figured we wouldn't you. have to roll for it, but uh, I'm gonna give you that one. I'm gonna give you that one, especially since you used an item for it. Okay, it'll be everything for me. Sorry. Yeah, no worries. Bongo. Small owl in, in like raggy clothes. Is gonna. That's 20 feet. Another 10 to move in front of this little goblin here. Okay. Uh, do I want to shoot the zombie or do I want to shoot the skeleton? I don't even know. I'm gonna shoot the skeleton. An eight. Uh, and unfortunately, <sighs> no. That actually would have hit the zombie, but it did not hit the skeleton. Uh, that's all I can do. I'm just going to tell, I'm going to look at the goblin and be like, yeah, go back inside. It's fine. I'll be fine. Uh, man, this feels like too many bad guys, but it was supposed to be split up. Uh, all right. Like the normal like purse GM that runs a game in me is being like, this is too too much. I feel bad, but then I'm like, wait, no, this is supposed to be what this is. Bullshit. Welcome to Dungeon Slug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's 25 feet. You can get. Oh, he's one square short. As he, as he shambled towards you, the straightforward micro zombie cannot quite reach Bongo. Bullshit. Get out of there, guys. Uh, oh, there's a wall in the way. Apparently. Can I do that? Really? Guess I gotta do this. What? What wall? There. Not right there. Good looking Myco Zombie. Not sure how that works. Got a lot of flowers on him. It's got a chiseled chin. It's real sharp. Shine, shine. Listen to the owl and just tell him I'm scared and I'm oh. going back in five. Oh, well, hit him first. Everyone remember yeah, to take the like, healing oh. potion <laughs> slot, right? Yeah, okay, I mean, yeah, you did. Yeah, I, I, I took one. This is part of the reason you have a renewable healing potion for every run. <laughs> it's like, right now, it's iffy to use it, but I'm just making sure everyone's set. 
I'll try to hit this close zombie right here. The straightforward. Oh, the straightforward. You got it. Sling. Use a sling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> e easily, he easily hits him. Almost twice. Six. Well, at least you hit him, Chai Chai. I'll give him the uh, Didn't hit me in the face. <laughs> All right. Well, and I'll uh, move back inside. And that's me. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Uh, all right. Uh, we are we are gonna shoot Bongo. The skeletons have bows. That's a miss. No, don't end combat. Uh, and then this one dude that's just kind of like over here. Stuck there. Indecisive. Knows exactly what to do. At least they're not like smart. And still playing them as they as they are, because they're not terribly smart. Can I go yes? Blech. Mm, pretty Myco zombie coming up and going to try and thwack you with a club made of mushrooms. A five. <laughs> I, I it better not fucking hit. Jesus, your your AC. You really, you yeah. really decked yourself out. I took the commoner's clothes. Oh yeah. I was gonna take the hockey stick, but. Got the commoner's it, it is a good thing you took those commoner's rags. That's why I wanted the knife hands. But I got See, the I, golden girl slug. I was gonna take the commoner's clothes, and then you grabbed it, because I've got the barb. Oh. That's okay. Josh is going to let's see ten. The I, I think the only way most of these can hit you now is a nat twenty. <laughs> um, Josh looks around at these weird zombies, goes, God damn it, we deserve brains! And uh, goes into a rage. <laughs> I just want to use the bathroom! <laughs> yeah, poor uh, quick, quick, no complications now. <laughs> Although there are rumors that things like channel points may be coming to YouTube. They've already started implementing other things, so... I don't know if rage... Is there, like, a rage effect to put on? Oh, no, I don't have a, a rage effect set up or anything like that. Uh, oh, never mind. Rage. There's a rage. Oh, okay. Looks like rage. past me was smart. <laughs> um... I forgot I added some extra custom conditions on top of the D&D ones. So I get what plus two on my attacks? Uh, no, it should add to your damage. To the damage. Yeah, you should get okay. advantage on strength checks. Uh, you get your rage damage, um, and and of course you can always choose to reckless attack and shit. I and it's plus that. two on the damage, right? I'm just I'm just setting it up. Yes. On, on yeah, plus two to your damage. Plus two melee weapon damage. Bonus. Oh, I see. You're making an effect. Smart boy. Yeah, updating on the special traits. Make my life nice and easy. Uh, and he's going to swing with the Amazon Basics Premium Stainless Steel Holy Roller. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, if you guys play this right, Bongo might be able to, like, just, like, 300 this doorway. <laughs> just slowly uh, take them out. Yeah. Um, Josh is going to close his eyes and swing. Uh, okay. Yep. Oh. Yeah, you don't need to reckless attack. That's right. If you reckless attack, would it switch the entire effect? So you would attack with disadvantage, and they would also attack with well, disadvantage? Well, it doesn't affect their rolls. It just affects his. So it would be bad for him. Uh, in, if the, in this case, reckless attack actually is a bad idea. Oh, my God. Jesus. 
Uh, that's not counting the extra 2d10, I don't think, for... So that was, yeah, 10 on the die. Jesus Christ. 2d10 for all the, uh, being the holy roller? Uh, is, is, is it an undead? Is oh, it yeah, it is, it is undead, so there's an extra 2d10. Jeez, yeah, it's just dead. <laughs> it is just dead. Um, uh, I actually need to get, need to get rid of this thing for the moment. Uh, so you have killed it. Uh, no trinket dropped. Turn. That's my turn. Uh, they are gonna fire at uh, Josh Carter. Oh, this guy is. Uh, ten will not hit you. Will not hit. Which would be easy for me to see if I just like moved the thing over. <clears throat> All right. I was worried about this, but I actually kind of think you guys got this. Uh, you, big Kev. Yes, hundred percent. Um, I guess we're going out into the hallway now. You yeah, spells. We can always fall back into this room if we have to, right? And like, if you have spells that target people, like creatures that you can see, can you pass it through the walls and shit? Uh, as long as it doesn't need line of effect, like a lightning bolt wouldn't work, even though you can see your target. But if it's just line of sight, like, uh, or, or anything like that, it would work just fine. Well, I'm still going to try and throw this Canuck Chucker, even though it's technically at dis it's at disadvantage. Oh, because you're throwing it to the, against the petty microzone? So like, well, there's nothing within 20 feet of me right now. Oh, right. It got murdered. <laughs> well, I mean, you could just stay at the doorway, throw it, and then move up. Then it wouldn't be disadvantaged. What do you mean? Wait, why Why are you getting disadvantaged from the Canuck Chucker? Because it's only a 20 foot at normal and then 60. Oh, I thought you were going to throw it at the petty pr or pretty micro zombie there. There's pretty micro zombies. Oh, oh there is one. one. You're standing oh, next wait. to one. <laughs> I thought that was one of us. <laughs> Never mind. Hold on, I would not go right beside them. That's why I was wondering. I'm like, what? What are you doing? What? Sorry, it's really dark in that area for me. It is dark. That whole hall, like all the hallways, are really dark. So. Oh, it is. It is showing up as the light for you guys. I didn't think it was. Uh, oh, it shouldn't be. The light should be to should be set. Uh, you, I, I guess you'd probably have to like refresh for the light to reset again. That's fine. It is supposed to be dark. It was originally supposed to be dark. All right. Yeah, I'll just throw it at this guy then at no disadvantage. I guess I guess the clear walls don't exactly make it light. They just make you be able to see. So the important thing is you can see through the walls. Oops. That's an uh, extra plus one from. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Go with it. <laughs> figure it out later. It's dungeon slug. I'm not that worried. Um, yeah, the 21 hits everything. Yeah, they're they're skeletons and zombies. Uh, 13. Yeah. Oh, this guy, the petty micro zombie, has been pretty impolite. I think. Oh, so uh, you got the straight 2d8 right for after. 2d8 is my damage on my Canuck Chucker. Yeah. Oh, if the target has been impolite 2d8 damage. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. So you could add an work? extra 2d8 damage on that because, uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll say he's been pretty impolite. I mean, he just came up and smacked you for, like, no reason. You did not aggress this. So another 2d8? Yes, another 2d8. Jesus. Oh, Max, <laughs> Wow. Okay, he's, he's just done. He's just done. Wow. Um, I don't oh, I don't think he can roll high enough on his toughness check, so he's just done. No trinket drop. Oh, my gosh. Uh... Yeah? <laughs> um... 
do do do. Ah, fuck yeah, boy. <laughs> Guy's moving up. He's gonna use swords. He's, He's gonna stabby, brilliant. stabby Josh Carter. Oh my god. I can't roll well all of a sudden. No, he's not. Yeah, independent Myco Zombie. Doodle loop. Incomprehensible. He's gonna go up and stabby stabby Josh Carter. Well, slammy slammy Josh Carter. Come on. I can roll awesome. above tens. Uh, what are we at? Envious. Spore riddled. Uh, okay, he is going to fire at Josh Carter as well since you're in the front. Uh, I don't know if I can hit you, but we'll find out. That it just hits? Uh, that's gonna be a miss, actually, because you have soft cover because he's got friends in the way. Ah. You, you would actually have an 18 against his attack right now. Unfortunately... This isn't Maldoon's dungeon. I won't cheat. <laughs> One of these days I'll run a dungeon slug that is Maldoon's dungeon again. Kongbog! Start moving towards the door. He said I can cast spells. I don't like need to like some like no lightning bolts or nothing. But can I use entangle on like that big pile of guys? Yes, you could because you can see where you need to cast, and there does not have to be a line of effect. Oh my god, you guys might actually mop the floor with this one, despite how many guys there are. You just you got the right stuff. I'm trying to get like the max amount of guys. Should I just do it over here? Or should I try to get these guys in there too? That's up to you, man. Angle right away. Not as you can get. Yeah. Nice, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. That is. Uh. So that is what. It's a strength save. Yeah. Strength save. Yeah. DC ten. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. DC ten. Strength save. Uh. So, three of them made it, so, uh, and, what is it, restrained? So, indecisive, you are restrained, and political, you are restrained. So the two guys in the back ended up being restrained by it. Um, I think I have a little bit of movement left. I know what that one was. You have it set as a martial melee weapon, not ranged. Oh. <clears throat> Wait, what was the problem? The Canuck Trucker. You have it as a martial melee weapon. Uh, okay. Well, what's, what's the issue? Like, it'll still use strength. It's a thrown weapon without finesse. Oh. I messed up then. I shouldn't have taken it. Yeah, it's still, it's a throw up and without finesse, thing. it's still strength based. Uh, Bungo! Uh, how tall are these hallways? Uh, the hallways, uh, they would be 10 feet. So I'm just gonna fly 5 feet up, so I'm still engaged, but I'm hoping to, like, maybe take on some arrows. For, uh, Josh here. Okay. But then I'm gonna slash at this uh, bag spore ridden skeleton with uh, my daggers. Do it up. That'll hit. Seven damage plus the sneak attack. So 13. 13. Yeah, that is exactly what he had. Oh, beautiful. Uh, no uh, trinket. You guys are not looking at him, though. 
Then I'm gonna move into his spot if you wanna. Uh, sure. Sure. I'll move, move there. Move him out of the way just for the moment. And offhand attacking. Um, like if I have two daggers, one in my left hand, or to attack with my bonus action, correct? Bonus action, and you don't add your modifier to the damage. Beautiful. Unless you have the dual wielding. Uh, yeah, unless you have dual wielding. So another one damage. One, one damage. To the incomprehensible. Dunk. He's he's like a tough boy. You like you punch you you stab into him and and it it hits, but it like it doesn't do much. They're easy to hit. They're just thick. Alrighty, and I'm five feet up. That's me. Soft spoken. I mean, they don't really speak, but I guess that's why he's soft spoken, right? Oh, he's gonna go this way. Good Good looking Myko zombie. We've got a pretty one and a good looking one. Like what the Back to the top of the order. Shine shine. I'm gonna drink the I'm in the way actually. I'm not that roughed up. I'm like shake it off and I wanna go back on the hallway. Shake it off. <laughs> go fifteen feet this way. Then I'll try to take a shot with the sling again. Okay. On the incomprehensible one right there. Yeah. Yeah. By a lot. All right. He's getting nickel and dime down. One point, then three points. Is that for me? Uh, so this is... Uh, you know, he's just going to stay where he is, and he's going to shoot at... Well, there's a flying bird and Josh Carter there. Uh, that's 50-50 it. 1-2, Bongo. 3-4, Josh Carter. Josh Carter. Oh, a crit. Uh, I'm going to use a luck point to make him roll another one and take the lower roll. Oh, you can fuck yourself. <laughs> uh-huh. Alright. Ten. That's a miss. Boom. Give him this arrow back, though. <laughs> Thank you, Tiny. Alright. Cowardly. Doing his thing. Trying to get here. Oh. Uh, let's do this. Uh, he's stuck. All he can really do is make a save to try to get out of it. And fail. Sentangle's doing its work. Josh Carter. Uh, Josh Carter is going to move up one and close his eyes and swing at this Myko zombie and hope he hits him. This guy. Oops, move this guy down. <clears throat> 21 damage. 21 damage. He had 21. Oh, wait. Toughness check. There's always a chance. Um, nope. That is not what I need. It's con save? Yeah, con save. Five plus the damage taken. Oh, no. He can't make that. <laughs> he can't roll higher than that. <laughs> he cannot no. roll higher. I just want to see what he would have rolled. Uh, I mean, yeah. Pretty good. If he if you had just done less, <laughs> yeah, he 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 did he did. Oh, a trinket dropped. Oh, I'll take it. Uh, goblin blood vial. Add plus one to your maximum health when equipped, and then then heal the one point because it doesn't actually give it to you automatically. So yeah, as soon as you put it on your character and equip it, it should automatically adjust for you. Uh, it did not. Oh, In fact, it's a minus one max hit point, even though it didn't take it away. Uh, it's it's set as an inactive effect right now. I'm gonna set it as active effect. Oh, That's it, why. Equip. There we go. There you go. Yeah, it just had to be equipped. Uh, 
Uh, and then... Uh, I, actually, I think that's all I can do. There's no real point in using any kind of bonus actions right now, so yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm going to finish... I'm, I'm going to complete my movement. Um, is this entanglement just still here? Like, if I walk into this, I can be it's, slowed as well? It's just difficult terrain right now. It won't, it won't stop you, but it's difficult terrain. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to get right up in this guy's cheese. Narrow-minded sporin, where, where are you? Um, it's this guy, he's like right beside you. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Well, he's just gonna try and hit you. Um, actually, restrained. Does that give him disadvantage? I think it does. Oh no, uh, uh, creature's attack is disadvantage, yeah. Oh, no, no, he's not restrained. He's just slowed. Never mind. He hits you normally. Okay. Uh, except he doesn't. Oh, my God. You guys are going to raffle stomp this. Fuck. All right. Big Kev. Okay. I don't need to go that close. <laughs> uh, let... So this narrow-minded one shot some arrows at my friends. That right? is correct. That that's pretty rude. <laughs> <laughs> um, at this point, I'm gonna say it was just expected combat. You guys have hit back. I'm gonna say unless they start saying or doing something, it's not gonna be impolite. Okay, so just normal damage now. It's just your normal damage, yeah. Uh, that will miss, actually. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, before we go on, uh, the vague spore-ridden zombie is this one. So, Bongo, you actually get shoved aside as he rises up and takes a swing at you. I'd be directly above him. Uh, you, yeah, you, you'd be basically, up, right? like, you'd be basically directly above them, yeah. Alright. Um, the Myco Zombies, since they can't come back, I'm just gonna move them out of the way. Eighteen will not hit you. Yes. I don't. I, one second, they got a nat twenty. I'm. I'm gonna put you here for now. You're technically over top of them, but sure. just just so we can click on the the icons. Okay. Now we can get to this dude. Uh. Oh yeah. And you have one hit point. Is one hit point. Are they permanently killed by like fire or radiant? Uh. You don't know. I mean, if you've done fire or radiant, it does not seem to have stayed. It kept them stayed down. Because, yeah, I'm doing Radiant every time I attack. Ah, yeah. No, that that does not seem to be the, the effect of how, how you keep them down. There is another mechanic. Um, you can get, like, this far, and then it gets slowed. Uh, envious dude. Uh, he's going to shoot at Josh Carter. Nineteen. That will hit you. Uh, yeah, it will. Three damage. Suck it. One damage. Fine. Stupid barbarians. <laughs> I planned for this. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of the point, right? <laughs> for sure. You lost your trinket health? Yeah. Your goblin health? <laughs> Uh, political Myco Zombie can move up to hit you around the corner. Oh, no, he can't because he's got to make a saving throw. Because he's fucking bound. Um, saves. Bam. Okay, he is not. Uh, does that take up their action to do, though? I, don't I think it does. Can use his action. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, that was that was its action. It's still going to move up, but that was its action. Conk bonk. 
I'll move out in the hallway. And I'm just gonna cast Infestation on the I guess I'll cast on one of these ones down here. Okay, which one? Narrow minded. Narrow minded? Okay. So save. Wait a minute, that doesn't seem right. One second. Ah, that's why. I was like your spell saves seem really low. Uh, you were set. We were set on uh, spell casting on on intelligence. There, that's better. So it should be a DC thirteen. There we go. I got it. Uh, nobody makes it. Just so you sp- send forth these bugs at him, and uh, the skeleton covered in fungus doesn't seem to care. Bungo. I guess I'll try to put the skeleton down again. Um, I don't. Eh. There's no clues as to how he got up, eh? Like I'm not sure. Uh, I will him. let you. Can roll, I just put him down? I will let you roll. Hmm. I'm gonna say a nature check if you want to try and figure that out. Seven. Uh, that ain't natural. Yeah, that ain't natural. Uh, well, shit, guys. Uh, conk bonk, I guess. I'm just gonna leave this one with you. You can, you, you're a nature guy. You, you can figure it out. And I'm just gonna move. Like, I'm gonna fly away from him. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use my bonus action to disengage. He can attack me if he wants. Okay. Nope, he did not nat 20. All right, we're going to stab with some daggers. First attack. An eight. Uh, negative. And second attack. That one will hit. So that's a bonus action. So that's a three plus the sneak attack. Yeah, yep. So a total of five. Five. Five glorious piercing damage. I should lock this door because it's solidified that's what I remember yeah that's me uh, okay if he moves here he can see you he can see you uh, so uh, he can't see Josh Carter because he's too close to the wall well he can see you but he can't get a beat on you but he can get a beat on Bongo so he's going to try his absolute darndest to get his nat 20 oh nope Better, but not good enough. Where are we? Uh, that was the... Oh, that's a micro zombie. I shouldn't have put it down. There we go. Good looking one. Slowly working his way in. Uh, we'll see there. Back to Shine Shine. I'm gonna move up the. I'll move up to there. 15. And smack him with a flail. Get up. Oh, that will unfortunately not hit. And then. That's me. Uh, Mary Spore Ridden Skeleton uh, is going to attack Josh Carter with his sword. That'll hit. For three damage. One damage. Jesus. I, I him down. overestimated how good these guys were going to be against you. I'm like, they're the only second level. Completely forgetting about the whole, you know, getting items. Do, do, do. 
I go here. I can also get a beat on Bongo. Not that it's probably going to amount to much, but let's give the old college try. No this is... All right, can this guy get out of the entangle? Let's see. Yes, he did. He's no longer entangled. Uh, well, can't really go in, so he's just... Uh... Yeah. You know what? Why is there... They're somewhat intelligent. Uh, oh, sorry. He's gonna fire first, then he's gonna close the door. Miss, and then close. Go up, close the door. Uh, so it was 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Josh Carter. Josh Carter's still swinging. Eyes closed like a fucking maniac. Raging. Uh, 17 will indeed hit. Uh, 11 plus you get your extra extra damage. Yep. 19. No, 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 19. Uh -oh, brings them to this. Uh, no trinket drops. And step over top of him, open the door. Yep. I'll, I'll move him just temporarily here. Just he scream in this mushroom's face. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. Well, this guy is going to... Uh, they're not that bright. 50-50 chance again. Yeah, he's going to swing at Josh Carter. And hit. And he needs a luck point to make him roll again. Oh, you son of a bitch. And hit better. In 17 it is. For six damage. Well, three damage. <laughs> Still, I'm getting ya. I'm getting ya. Big Kev. All right, that narrow-minded. Oh. Uh, 19? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna hit. Uh, oh, yeah, that's gonna knock him down. Let's see. Yeah, I'll just whatever. Uh, ooh, target rich environment for the vague spore ridden one. We're gonna we're gonna high low this one. So one two big cav three four uh, shine 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 shine. He's gonna smacky smack you with a sword. Uh, seventeen wheel just hit. For six points of damage. Uh, and it's moving here. The independent. It's gonna move up here and attack you through the doorway. 19 to hit, yes. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Five damage, AK2. <laughs> hey, Lumberjack. How's it going? Uh, it's it's going uh, depressing for me, but good for the players. <laughs> Kicking ass. <laughs> I love it, though. It's good shit. All right. Envious spore-ridden skeleton. Getting all his friends down in a, in a boat. Um, so we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to attack 
Josh Carter. That is the wrong thing. There we go. 14 will not hit, I do believe. Yeah, that is a miss. Political Myco Zombie. Um, yeah, he's gonna lift his club up high and be, and you just hear like, Reagan was right. Uh, and then he's gonna do. <laughs> it's gonna try and club you. Fuck. Nope. Oh, my good roll stopped. Kunk Bonk! Give her. Um. Do I have to, like, be in that room to use the bra thing? To use the what? The bra? The bra thing I buy? Oh, yeah, because you actually have to throw it player. at them. Like, it's a, okay. it's a line, of, line of effect thing. Like, you actually have to, to reach them. Um. Yeah, the the complicated bra straps is is a thrown item. I guess I'll just um hit this guy with my quarter staff. Damn. That is unfortunately a miss. These guys are a little bit harder to hit than the the micro zombies. All right, and for a bonus action, can I heal? I'm healing word. Um, shine, shine. Yeah, do it up. So, shine, shine, you're gonna get seven hit points back. Give him a nod. Say thanks, Conk Bonk. Gary. Uh, we're still in round four. Haven't reached the threshold yet. Bongo. Shoot Shine Shine in the leg with an arrow. No, I'm not. Uh, how? So this door is fairly blocked. Is like I'm flying and I'm small. Is there any way I can get past this political micro zombie into the room? Uh, yeah, I would allow. You'd be in, like, the space above him, so thinking 3D, like, as long as you don't move out of his threatened area, um, you will end up moving through the threatened area of the envious spore-ridden skeleton. Yeah, that, that's okay, because I'm going to bonus action disengage. Okay. Yeah, then you can move through. That's not a problem, because you're technically and moving over his square, not through. 20. 30. And then, uh... Yeah, put away the daggers, take out the short bow, and shoot the political micro zombie. Okay. And miss. Oh shit. Lovely. Uh, no, wait, no, that's a hit. Oh. Z love to see <laughs> Zombies it. are easy Zom to hit. <laughs> so it's nine points of damage plus. Yeah. So 14 total. Okay. And that's me. The arrow like thuds into the back of the zombie here like a Bleh. conservatives have the right ideas. Thank you for being a friend. Oh yeah, and you've got that loud like booming music because of the slug you have of the Golden Girls theme song the entire time. Dancing my way to the chest. Um the soft spoken soft spoken spore ridden skeleton. That's a lot of S's. Um sees you and he's he's gonna like go over here and reach up and just be like, I've uh, I've, I've I've come here to tell you about the your car's extended warranty. Take that as impoliteness. Just for the record, everybody, that was very <laughs> impolite to me. He's trying to he's trying to remind you about your car's extended warranty. It's fine. Um, but yeah, he's not. Nah, I could see that being impolite. I would allow that for the Canuck yeah. checker. Uh, that still will not hit you. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. The good-looking Myco zombie still confuses me. But uh, he sees. He sees a person over here. Yeah. We're all coming over here now. He's got like flowing like Fabio hair and stuff. Oh, that is of course a, a miss because you've got the mega armor. Shine, shine. I'm gonna try to just 
try to flail this one again. This big spore. You got it. This again. Wow. This guy just keeps dodging everything. Yeah, well, just those, those, rolls. those rolls. Twice in a row, just, just misses the flail. Then yeah, that's me. The problem is, is like you got a left handed grip, gripped flail, and you're right handed, so it just feels all wrong. Uh, oh, the Mary spore ridden skeleton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should actually have a turn. Um, and he was actually underneath where Josh Carter is, so he actually kind of shoves you to the side as he, like, gets up and then swings at you. As he sort of, like, reassembles himself. Um, not hitting. There, oh, he's down further. Okay. Uh, this guy's just gonna go here and hope for the best. I should have given fucking pack tactics. Jesus. Skip everything pack tactics. Everything has pack tactics. That should be that should I, be an anomaly. I was just gonna say that should be an anomaly. <laughs> everything has pack tactics. <laughs> Players um, included. <laughs> yeah. Just everything has pack tactics. Um, indecisive. Uh, whew, he's got two directions to go, and what is he gonna do? He's indecisive. What, what does he do? He's gonna go up and hit you, but like hesitantly. It's like I don't know if this is the right idea. Oh, I probably should have gone this way. Oh shit, that was a bad decision. Uh, Josh Carter, Amazon worker. What are you doing at the behest of Jeff Bezos? He's fucking pretty furious that this skeleton pushed him out of the way so rudely. Very impolite. <laughs> I think we need that to would mark. Be, that would be impolite. Let's let's figure out a marker for impolite. Yeah, we, need, we need a we need an impolite <laughs> marker. Uh, we're gonna use this one for now. I like I, I love how there, there's a weapon in this so Canadian that we have to mark if someone's been impolite. <laughs> Uh, eyes closed, swing in the holy roller. Yep, you close your eyes, spin around, giving yourself advantage. You definitely hit. Because this is the Mary, Mary you're aiming at, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's only got one hit point. Uh, if, uh, because he's going back down again, if I roll a trinket, you're not getting the trinket. Because he's, he's already been down. Uh, this and then he's still impolite. <laughs> uh, is there a way I can like shove his body next into the next square so that I can move? Yeah, I'll give you like bonus action, like shove the body as you're moving over. Yeah, and then I'm going to. Oh, you're, oh so that was my bonus action. Okay. Uh, actually, I'll give it to you as an item interaction. Fuck it, I'll, I'll let you have that. Okay, bonus action, quaff uh, healing potion. Okay. I'm not being so nice to you. This is dungeon slug. I'm out of practice. This is where the DM is supposed to be a dick. I'm too out of practice. Uh, wait. The uh, narrow-minded uh, is this one. Yeah, he's back. I'm gonna try to stab you in the back. Backstabbing is pretty impolite. That's stretching it a bit. You are in combat. You have also been aggressors against most of them. It's just war at this point. Now, shaving someone. Fought honorably? Uh, I mean, they haven't fought dishonorably. They didn't try to shiv somebody in the back. I'm, I'm, I'm hitting them all in the face. I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> I hate you. I hate all of you. I'm losing. <laughs> Good cap. <laughs> I don't know if you're muted or. Hmm? Oh, me. Oh. 
I didn't hear you say my name. Ah, uh, okay. So, oh, this douche beside me, but I don't care. Uh, I'm gonna end up. He can do his thing. He's gonna do his thing. Come on, crit. Uh, seven hits, right? Yeah, no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I can see this guy through the door, right? The political. Uh, you, yeah, you would have line of, uh, of effect and obviously of sight, since all of the walls are randomly glass. <laughs> oh, I forgot to do something at the top of the round. Okay. Uh, I will do it at the top of the next round. Fine. I missed my trigger. I'm gonna chuck a Canuck. I didn't realize this was round five. Up, uh, yeah. Several times over. Uh, theoretically, he could he could make that. So I'm gonna give him his con save. He made it. Oh man! <laughs> You're like thwack this this zombie that's covered in the in fungal like infections and stuff like this, and like most of it comes off, and there's like barely any zombie left, but somehow he's still standing. Pretty much all I've got. Vague spore ridden skeleton. Uh, we got two people here. Once again, they're not very smart, so I'm gonna random roll that. Oh, uh, Kong Bonk, you're getting attacked. A uh, crit! Damn. Wah, wah, wah. Ten damage. This one skeleton has been a huge problem, man. <laughs> I can't get rid of him, man. <laughs> I got a little something going for me. Independent Myko Zombie does not like the fact that he's part of the crowd, but he's going to try and hit Josh Carter anyways. They've done a good job at slowly starting to whittle him down. Nope. Negatory. I th they think they did. <laughs> they think. <laughs> you you know what happens when you assume you're an asshole. Um, <laughs> envious is going to attack you. Yes! I'm gonna use my last luck point, make him reroll. God damn it! I'm kicking you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, fuck. You're ruining all my fun. Stupid luck, like what I have in Curse of Strahd. I'm going to use so many luck points on Wednesdays. <laughs> only have three, so. <laughs> uh, the political one is going to hit you while well, he's going to try and hit you. Oh, that's a miss, isn't it? All by one. Wait, he gets a plus one because uh, he's near plants. Check I'm so out. running. I am so running a Maldoon themed dungeon again. <laughs> Conk bonk. I use my bonus action first. Yeah. Oh yeah. Any order, whichever you want. You can even, like dabble in some movement in there. You can you can always mix and match. Seven back. Use your potion slot. And I am going to wild shape. Oh yeah, you're circle of moon, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to wild shape into a dire wolf. Dire wolf? Okay, give me one second here. I gotta get you a dire wolf. Monsters. It's wolfing time. Dire wolf. Let's make sure the token is set up. Boom. Eh, boom. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Now you really are going to have pack tactics. God damn it. Yeah. Well, cheap. Oh, you're a big boy. <laughs> Hell yeah. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna fight the thing in front of me that's been bothering everybody for the last 20 minutes. Sure, sure. 
Oh, yeah. this guy. That's great. There we go. Did it work that time? Yeah. Okay. I like shut it off and turn it back on again because I was just going to raise the lighting because of the glass in it. You have an advantage because pack tactics. Yeah. Don't remind him. Hey. No, it's fine. <laughs> might be a crit. It yeah. might be. Yeah. Nine damage. All right. Uh, and once again, because he's gone down once before, if he rolls a trinket, you don't get a trinket. And this, because he'll get back up. Over here, and I'm going to move right over to here. Uh, so well, the thing is that attack opportunity on me. Your uh, entangle is still there, which is double movement to get through. How much movement? No, do you have? it would be. It would be. As soon as I uh, went to the wolf, form, it would be gone. It's concentration. Oh, you're gonna drop concentration? Okay. Yeah. I, you say for, wild shape doesn't make you lose concentration. Yeah. For the record, you can keep it while you're wild shape. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you can drop it at any time as well. That's like a free action. I got hit before, it would have been. Right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We forgot your concentration check. That's my bad, yeah. too. But also, I don't think anything was entangled by it anymore. No, no it, was it was just acting as difficult. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I think this one will get. I'm political. I'm zombie will get a. a hit on me. Yeah. He is indeed getting a hit on you. He is not getting a hit on you. Big ol' Lord, no. Bongo's turn. Okay, I'm gonna look at this blood chest. Is there any, like, numbers or anything on it? Uh, okay, anything? so, blood chests. Remind everybody the way it works is you need to sacrifice a bit of yourself to do it. Um, you randomly roll. You're gonna lose a point from one of your attributes to open it. You are going to randomly roll which attribute this comes out of. Um... Also, I have to add things to the blood chest. Yeah, apparently I forgot to fill that chest. <laughs> uh, that's a my bad. There's going to be something real good in it, I promise. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're definitely opening it. You're opening it? Okay, roll a d6 oh, yeah. for me. Roll a d6. It's going to be a wadded up tissue and uh, already... Fuck. Uh, no, that's that's your dex. <laughs> yeah, You lose one from dex. your dex. <laughs> Um, That's however, painful. I am going to give you some shit. I'm going to give you some shit. Uh, give me one second here. Oh, that's potion slots. I'm going to give you one of those. I'm going to give you one of those. Not a thousand of them. I want a thousand of them. Whatever it is, I want, I want it. Uh, no, no, especially if it's like five gold to pop, <laughs> five thousand gold worth of fucking potions. <laughs> like the ability to wild shape into a young kraken. That's what I'm after. And we'll give you that. Uh, okay, and. Uh, can't book. Where are you, owl dude? There you go. You and you alone should have access to the chest now. Okay, I'm just going to grab everything and then uh, I'll read it after my go. Yeah. Okay, um... What, what was that to open the chest and take the stuff? Uh, uh, is double click not working for you? No, I mean, like, what was it action economy wise? I took all the stuff. Oh, oh, that that basically would be your whole turn. To like sacrifice uh, some blood, open it up, take all the stuff out. Action and bonus action, item interaction, all my stuff, including yeah. movement. Uh, no, you still have your movement. How tall is the roof? Uh, the so the hallways are ten feet. The rooms are fifteen feet. No, I'm gonna stay here so he gets pack tactics. I'm good. That's me. Okay. Okay. Uh, did you take this stuff from the chest? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I will just delete the stuff in the chest then. Uh, did you take the gold? Gold as well? 
Oh, no. No, no, I didn't see the gold. Yeah, I'm taking that. Two gold in there. Beautiful. All right. And then the chest goes poof. It's gone. <sighs> Soft spoken, spore written. Let's see. Let's see what he's going to do. It's an ASMR skeletons. D&D uh, ASMR? I, I couldn't do that for long, especially since I, I've got monitoring on so I can hear my own voice. I fucking hate ASMR. Uh, that is not going to hit the dire wolf. I hate it. Uh, he's going to after Bongo. Oh! I finally hit you! You finally hit me. Seven damage! For seven, oh. Actually, it's quite a bit of my health. <laughs> Finally. Oof. It only took like a billion guys wailing on you. Oof. Uh, shine, shine. Just gonna full sprint and just try to flow this one here. Yeah, yeah. The narrow minded. Oh, uh, that just misses. The left-handed flail gets you again. He just swung out all over the place. He just not hit nothing. <laughs> you, you need what fucking Josh Carter has with the uh, disadvantage into advantage. All right. Oh, Bongo. We're going to crit you again. Come on. Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, the dice is rigged. 10 damage. That's, yeah. Bongo gets knocked out of the air. I was gonna, I'll be the nice guy and say, uh, it's the top of round six. Oh, thank you. I, uh, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh, and thank you. Don't take any falling damage because that was only five feet. Uh, it is the top of round six. Uh, so. Probably shouldn't have said anything. I bet you it's bad for us. No, it's fine. It's fine. God damn it, Buddha. Uh, Buddha, you're Whatever. the one that's being so helpful right now. Can you roll a D? Uh, can you roll two D4s for me, please? Uh oh. Straight up. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. Give me, give me one second here. So. Eater. Oh, uh, we're getting more bad one, guys. Shit. <laughs> two, three, four. Sorry, guys. One, two, what? Three, four. The spawn pit has done its thing for the dungeon. Wow, you rolled maximum. It only happens once, but you rolled maximum, wow. so that makes me happy. <laughs> uh, I guess I should add them to the combat, eh? No, no, we're good. You can just <laughs> leave him stand there and... Just drinking tea. Holy fuck shit. Okay, you already took your turn. Uh, indecisive. Uh, yeah, he's just gonna do what makes sense. Uh, he is going to attack Bongo. Attack. Advantage. Fuck. Still misses. <laughs> You're on the ground unconscious. <laughs> still fucking misses. Wouldn't that just be an auto crit? He has. To, he still has to hit you. It's it's only an auto crit if he hits you while you're down. It's not an auto hit. It's just an auto crit. It's like okay. He still has to get through the armor. You're just this like armored lump on the ground right now. So. Still can't get through the common clothes, the rags. What yeah, he's having a hard time getting through the common rags. Uh, uh, glamorous Myco Zombie. Oh, the newbie. Josh Carter. All right, I'm gonna 
close my eyes and swing at this political zombie in front of me. Eleven. Oh, no, sixteen. He can roll a twenty-one. No, he can't. <laughs> no, my political views are correct. No trinket. There we go. Is it just like a single cell doorway, like between the, the where the yeah, chest it was is? like a sliding wall, but you like because of the glass walls, you could just see, um, you could see the mechanisms for it, so you knew it was like a, there was a secret door there. Okay. Uh, what's it take to open this chest? Um, I will. Uh, the oh that that chest is locked actually. Okay. Well, then that's my turn. Because that was the chest in the secret room. But it gives the rogue something to do. Oh, misunderstood. It's gonna go here and shoot at you. Oh, and hit you. Four, three, half to one. Death by a thousand swords. <laughs> Death by a thousand snooze snooze. Uh, all right, shine shine. Uh, we got narrow minded. Uh, he does not like your views, and it's gonna miss you. Be careful. Uh, I'm going to. As a Zephyr Strike. Okay. Now I can move without provoking the opportunity attacks. In... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you can give yourself advantage on a weapon attack roll. So I still have a bit of movement. Uh, is its item interaction to use a potion on someone? Or? Uh, bonus action. Ah, oh, shit, I don't have a bonus action anymore. That was my bonus action. It's like the one house rule that we are using in Dungeon Slug, because potions should just be bonus actions. <laughs> well, I'll just move over here for now, then. 45. Hmm... Because it's item interaction to take it out, and then a bonus action to feed it to them. Oh, no, wait. I want him to have some pack tactics. You know what? Damn it. Why can't I move? I'll go here and... S dead. I'll just stay there instead of moving crazy. Okay. But I'm going to attack Cowardly Spore. Okay. All right. Because it's ranged attacks, right? So, yeah, yeah, it's thrown. Melee weapon that's thrown. Uh, eighteen will hit. Eesh. Shit! Why couldn't it be those? Like, why couldn't I have rolled two on the D fours? <laughs> Oh, I had advantage on the attack. Oh, you did? Yeah, go ahead and roll again, just in case you like crit. Uh, yeah, you did. Close. Close, though. Close. Very close. Doesn't it like saying the attack deals an extra 1d8? Force? It does. Uh, oh, yeah. Force. Well, that's better. 11. Oh, that actually knocks him, knocks him down. Uh, no Ooh. trinket. And do this for his getting back up after. Uh, okay, the vague one. Beep. Gets back up. 
guys are gonna get swarmed with these skeletons and deal with it soon. Uh, he still had enough movement to get over there despite standing up. And he is going to attack. Oh, he has one hit point. He is going to attack. Uh, shine, shine. That will hit. For six damage. This is going to go after the wolf. Uh, that does hit. Uh, you're going to lose four wolfy hit points. Uh, envious. Oh, he's ganging up on Shine Shine. Miss. Okay. Kong Bonk, Wolfie. Like the indecisive one. Okay. I feel like they should at least have like advantage if uh, I'm not go. Uh, actually, they should have had advantage on you. You're right. Thank you for letting me know that. Yeah, they should have had advantage on you. Whoops. Whatever, I missed my trigger. Um, yeah, uh, that will definitely hit. Twelve. Oh, so close. And that's it. Yeah, okay. Oh, one success. Yeah. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. I think they're gonna get you up in a minute anyways. Fine. Enigmatic. It's coming up. I'm gonna hit you with the sword. Uh, that will hit. No more luck points. No, sir. Five damage. It's up to two. They don't know they're just fueling your rage. You don't have to worry about it dropping. Oh. Uh, Amicable Myco Zombie. It's gonna come up and try to hit you. Oh my. I'm, I'm just killing it all of a sudden. Four damage. Uh, let's see, is he gonna try to finish you off or is he gonna go after the threatening wolf? Let's see here. One, one, two, bongo, three, four, wolf. Bongo. Not even close. Good looking Myco Zombie would be on bongo by default. Not even close. <laughs> You're still tanking despite being unconscious and bleeding. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I love it. Oh, they're kind of getting a traffic jam there. Back to the top. Uh, shine, shine. I can't move through enemy tokens, right? Uh, you cannot, no. All right, I'm gonna just try to swing again on the one to the south of me. Okay, the vague. Yep, hits. He's down once again. Sweet. And, and then for a trinket. Well, was actually gonna second win. Okay. Wait, set him back. Nice. And then that's me. Okay. Uh, so you, uh, he is back up. 
that one hit point. He's gonna get up and fire at Shine Shine. Well, they're starting to run out of arrows. That is gonna hit Shine Shine for three damage. Uh, and then Cowardly is next. That's him. Uh, he's actually at one. <clears throat> and I guess it would be Bongo he'd be going after. Well, that's a miss. Indecisive. He was actually hitting the wolf last time, so he's just going to keep doing that. Or not. Uh, I guess he can fire an arrow at Josh Carter. Oh shit. Three damage, AK1. Slowly nickel and diming you down. Uh, he would have to be on the wolf. That actually hits. It hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four damage. Uh, he's gonna move in, but he's kind of stuck. Josh Carter. Josh Carter is going to do what Josh Carter does best. He's gonna swing with his eyes closed at the uh, amicable mycosynth zombie. Just close your eyes, spin oh, around, yeah. and be like, I did not mention unions. Uh, yep. Oh, that's... I mean, theoretically, he can roll that. I doubt it. Blackjack. Oh, that was close. <laughs> he almost rolled it. Oh, no, sorry, never. It's pl five plus the damage. Never mind, he couldn't have yeah. rolled that. He's, he's, he's done, so. He's done, so. Oh, you got a trinket. Ah, uh, let's go. Oh, it's Stop. not as useful, though. Hey. Plus one to initiative rolls. <laughs> Considering you're only doing one combat this time. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. yeah. Ah, so when you're done. Uh, the good news is uh, whoever makes it out of this uh, is getting a butt ton of experience. Josh Carter. Miss. Narrow minded. Back on Shine Shine again. Uh, just hits you. Four damage. Big Kev, back to you. Okay. Let's uh, bonus action give a potion to this owl. Good. Lug lug, owl boy. Oh, thank you, Big Kev. It's good. I appreciate that. Uh, and then... Seems back up again. So you still have your action. Yeah, they keep getting the back up for some reason. The only person that's tried to make a check about it is so far has been TWA. So Indecisive hasn't, uh, gone down at all, right? He's not gone down yet, no. Right. Eh, I'll roll disadvantage with him. Since I'm in melee. I don't mind. Wow, okay, Oof. I should have said, Oof never mind. Yeah, it's been my... Alright, Independent is going to be attacking the wolf. That's a hit for two points of damage, wolf, wolf. Uh, oh, I forgot about the vague spore-ridden skeleton. He should be back up. 
do him first. Uh, poor Shine Shine's off on his own in a real bad spot there. I'm gonna have to like run behind the door and close it or something. Just like, oh, guys. Shine Shine knows what he has to do. Uh, that is that is a hit for five points of damage. Independent. Uh, already had his turn. Envious. Oh no, Shine Shine. You've got another guy hitting ya. Could be it. Yep. Is this it for Shine Shine? Yes, it brings you down to zero. You're you're Shit. unconscious, my friend. Bonk bonk. Um, I'm gonna bite the soft spoken one. Okie doke, okie doke. Oh, I'm not unconscious anymore. Uh, soft spoken. Okay. Big old chunk out of that one. Bones. Mmm, tasty. Bongo! Back up! Yeah, thanks for that big Kev. Uh, this door over here. Um, I'm small and I can fly. Can I, like, fly above them? As I got... As uh, I, did before, I would, I would allow too you... There. It still provokes as normal, but you, do, you can go through the spaces because you're technically going above them, so I would allow that. Okie dokie. I'm, uh, I'm gonna use a BHG tall door in this case, and they're like super tall doors. You can go through it. Yeah, I'm gonna bonus action disengage. Okay. Because those crits are nasty. And then I'm gonna use my action to pour a pour a potion down Shine Shine's throat here. Give her. All right. Six back. Shine, shine, you're awake again. Doing okay. Doing okay. Thank you. And, like, I would be five feet up, and I just want to say I, I'm above Shine, shine. Like, trying okay. to egg on these guys, yeah. you know? Uh, yeah. And that's me. Sweet, sweet. We'll just, like, we'll move you, like, here so we kind of know. 20 foot tall door. Yeah, why not? This dungeon slug. Nothing makes sense. <laughs> uh, these guys are like slowly wailing on Josh Carter. No. No, no, no. Soft spoken. He did not like being hit by that wolf. Uh, that just hits. Four damage. Wolf is another fucking hit point sponge. Oof, oof, oof. Love it. Love it. Good looking Myco Zombie. Uh, he's gonna go up and he's gonna. He's gonna go up and try, try to hit Big Kev here. Uh, 19 will hit. For two points of damage. Gloomy. Cannot do anything. He's stuck. He's stuck too. Shine, shine. You are you are awake, with an owl flying over you, and you're currently lying on the ground. I use my action to stand up. Uh, it's it's half your movement. Oh, sorry, we're running the the nope. simpler rules for that. It's it's just gonna be ten feet of movement. Okay, so, just ten feet of movement to stand up. Yeah, so you'll you'll still have twenty feet of movement left for whatever you do this turn. Do it here. Do it here. <laughs> um. 
I think you guys got cocky. You were like, we're going to stay at the door and we're going to do this tactically. And all of a sudden you're like, everyone scattered. <laughs> People decided to go for chests. <laughs> yeah. I was going to go get it and come back. And then I got clapped. You know, things happen. It's like you no started with tactics. Getting back up. I'm using a little escape. I, just, uh... I, like I said, I, I offered if you want to make nature checks on your turn, you can do so. Adam I think we're changing one. Josh's name to Hodor. Right. Okay. Just... <laughs> yeah, see bonus action. 20 feet left. Yeah, and you got the 20 Here. feet left. You said we can make a check to see what the yeah, going on with uh, the nature bodies? check because it's it's like the it's about the mushrooms. Is that his action now? No, I'm just letting you make one on your on your oh. turn. It didn't cost Adam anything. You just made a check. Yeah, I tried a while ago. I got like a seven. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Nineteen. Oh, uh, with a nat twenty. Yeah, I fucking, I'll give that to you. Um, yeah, it's uh, the mushrooms seem to be reassembling the skeleton. You think if you were to just smack them one more time while they're down, they would stay down? Double tap. Basically, they're like dark skulls, dark soul skeletons. Ooh. Double tap. Uh, and you, um, the way I'm running it, you don't even have to roll. You just like you have to have an action or a bonus action or something like that to, uh, if you're dual wielding, to hit them. You just have to hit them. Not any, you don't even have to roll to attack. You just have to have the action for it. All right, then that's that's my turn. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, you didn't do your action, did you? Uh, he did not use an action yet. No, you used, used a bonus action to, to nimble escape. Yeah, you still got an action left. Did you want to do something? Um, bring a rage attack from here? Yeah, sure. I'll take a shot with my sling at the... The vague spore skeleton. Uh, that will hit, yeah. Alright, that knocks it down again. Oh, just shaking all whatever it was gonna be, right? No worries. Not being, not being me. Uh, give yourself the sling bullet back if it used it. All right. This guy is gonna move here and reach up and touch someone. Oh shit! Oh. Oh shit! Oh shit! Four damage. Like it's bongo. Uh, that that, that doesn't that doesn't hit me 21 doesn't hit you oh no. 21 doesn't 22. hit you that's right you're the you're the super 22 one. Never i am never mind it was 23 until i opened that chest ah right 22 i was one short okay uh he's gonna go up here he is split so one two big kev three four wolf wolf miss Uh, indecisive spore ridden skeleton. Uh, he's been focusing on the wolf, so he's just gonna keep doing that. The hit point sponge. Oh shit. Damn. Nine damage. Not a crit. Yeah, nine damage on Kunk Bunk. Weak spore ridden skeleton. Uh, wolf up. He's going to shoot. At Josh Carter, and he's gonna hit Josh Carter, and he is going to do. Oh, this one actually hit you for some damage. Uh, eight damage. I think that's like one of the biggest hits you've been hit by. All right, that's his wolf. That is gonna hit. Ah, uh, for six damage. I expected you guys to make the check on the on the skeletons like sooner once I told Adam about it. I'm I'm okay with the way this turned out. Tactics went to shit, and, <laughs> and then people forgot to make checks. I'm okay with that. Uh, he's just, just kind of stuck there. Josh Carter. Uh, Josh Carter is going to do a eyes closed spin around swing on the misunderstood spore ridden zombie. Okay. 
Misunderstood. Yup, 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 yup. And they are, of course, all undead. Uh, he only had nine hit points. Oh, another trinket. Oh, another goblin blood pile. There you go. Yes. Every hit point counts. Doubly effective for you. There you go. Perfect. There we go. And then I'm going to back up one. Uh, okay. So Enigmatic will give a give the old college try. Oh no, never mind. You're not out of his thing. No. Nope. You're fine. There we go. Uh, Bongo. Yeah, this guy can still try to reach you. I'm gonna give him disadvantage from where he is, though. Oh, wow. I'm so sorry. Seven damage on Bongo. No, that, that doesn't hit. 22. Oh, that doesn't hit. Fuck, I keep forgetting it's 22. Yeah. I keep thinking it's yeah, like 20 22. for some reason. Never mind. <laughs> Big Kev. Fuck. Um... I really don't know what I can do here. Uh... Teamwork. The skeletons require teamwork or dual wielding. Well, the problem is I don't have any... Well, I guess the javelin's technically a melee weapon. Um... I mean, you're not completely boned with a Canuck Chucker, even if you're just using it as a melee weapon. It doesn't... I don't see any properties for melee on it. Uh... What do you mean? Well, it's 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 a martial melee weapon. It just has the throne property. It's like a like a hand axe. Like you could still use it as a melee weapon. It doesn't doesn't have to be thrown. Um. You just I'll don't just get the extra damage if it's melee. I'll just attack the indecisive again. Okay. Even though it's. Disadvantage. Uh, that will hit. Uh, he's, he's, he's definitely down. Finally he's down. He lasted a so while. A, I use the, oh, is he fully down, or I uh, use a bonus to just, like, donk him? Uh, if you're dual wielding, you could, but I don't think you're dual wielding. Oh. Well, um... Fuck, I hate Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, Ranger's got its its things. Has things. Uh, Vague, Spore Ridden. So you're... Boop. Yeah, that's sort of how, how I designed this encounter. Like, the, the zombies were just there as meat shields whatever they go away not easy not that hard uh, but the skeletons basically at this level require teamwork for you to guys to take out wait why did he require a why did, why did he need dual wielding to be able to use his bonus action to attack again could he not make an unarmed attack as a bonus Punch action action? without his proficiency uh in order to uh, dual wield one of your weapon the weapons you use have to be have the light unless you have dual wielder um, he used, just used the Canuck Chucker. It didn't have the light weapon property. Okay. If he was wielding a dagger and he wanted to, like, offhand punch somebody, that would be fine because he, he would have a weapon with the light property uh, having been used. But because the Canuck Chucker's a bigger one, it, it would not work. Okay. Uh, he's gonna try and attack Bongo. Nine hits. Yeah, nine hits. He's gonna attack the wolf. Oh, he actually does hit the wolf. Two damage on the wolf. Uh, conk bonk. 
Envious uh, is also going to attack Kabungo. You're just eating this up. How is that not a hit? Kong Bok. You muted if you haven't said. Yeah, I don't know. Um. Bite one of them or so. I don't want to bite, dude. Bite the one that's down. Yeah, probably finish yeah. him. Yeah, I'll finish the one that's down. Okay, you don't have to roll. Um, if you're finishing one, like I mentioned before, you don't have to roll. It just finishes them. Right. So if you, you use your action, you like completely spread the corpse around and that skeleton will not return. Okay, and that's, that's all I got. These are 50s. And then these are 50s. Good. Okay. I made it easier myself for experience. Bongo, you're currently flying over top of these skeletons. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna just stab down at the Mary Spore ridden, ridden skeleton. Okay. With the old dagger. Hits. 13? Yep, hit hits, he's down. All right, um, and I'm not going to use my bonus action to attack again. I'm going to use my bonus action to drink uh, luck filter. Okay. So I have a luck point now. Yes, you do. And that's me. All right, enig enigmatic dude. He's going to step in front of the door and attack at you through the doorway. That was gonna hit for a massive four damage reduced to two. Soft spoken. Uh, he's also been lasting a while. Attack on the wolf. Kunk Bonk is hit for four damage. Good looking will attack Big Kev. smart nine uh, that is yep not gonna work gloomy uh, he's gonna try and reach around the corner disadvantage because I'm giving him disadvantage that's not gonna hit and intuitive is just crowding in as best they can um, wait oh that's a skeleton nope he might come back Shine, shine. Creep up. 15 feet. Sure. And then just smash like the Mary Spore right here. Okay, he's done. And then I use the action surge to smash this other one right here. Well, I'll use it first. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll your attack. I mean, he's only got one hit point. As long as you hit his AC, you're good. Let's see if the left-handed flail gets you again. Oh, no. Just missed. No, wait. Uh. No, roll again. He actually should still... No, he's not prone. Never mind. Because he had gotten up, he had already attacked. Never mind. Yep, that is a miss, unfortunately. Good try, though. And that's my turn. Um, Mary is done. Cowardly spore-ridden skeleton. Uh, he is going after Big Kid. No, actually, he's he's going to go after the wolf. Come to think of it. This over here. Oh my gosh. I'm just hitting the wolf all day long. Six damage on the wolf. <clears throat> Thankfully, those aren't your real hit points. Uh, indecisive is gone. gone. More thankfully, that's just his first wild shape. Yeah. yeah, he's still got a whole another like 37 hit points if he wants it. Jesus. <clears throat> Alright. 
Uh, he's gonna... F he can't really do much. He's just gonna sit there. This guy's gonna hit at the wolf. I am hitting at the wolf. Seven damage. I've almost removed one of his health bars. It's like the druid is a boss. Level two druid is insane. It is, yeah. Level two druid, especially like moon druids, fucking moon crazy. Druids. Crazy. Josh Carter. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a blind swing at the gloomy myco zombie. Yeah, yeah. 19 damage. 19, yeah, he's down. No, 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 not, not, not the, not oh, the, the skeleton. Oh, the zombie, the... oh, sorry. Yeah. Get back up. The gloomy, right, right, right. Zombie down, there we go. I'll bring him out. And I mean, you could try to roll a 24 for him. I, he can't. They only have a plus three. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, um, he, he needs like one less point of damage to even try. And that's my turn. Narrow-minded. He can move up. And he's got his choice of targets. It's a one, two, owl, three, four, goblin, owl. Nope. Big Kev. Just trying to think of where... Okay, so he's right there. It's there. That's there. Um... Ooh, that could hurt if I do it. Sorry, Savage, you might get hurt. All right. Um, I'm going to move away one. Mm -hmm. so I guess I get some opportunities. All right. Nope. And... Nope. nope. All right, uh, I'm going to attack the soft-spoken. Okay. Chucker. Chuck it. Oh, just, no, it's a miss. Uh, do I need to hit with this or no? Yeah, I do. Shit. You guys are gonna oh, rob can... the stompers, but we're doing good. Sorry, I could still move a bit. Oh yeah, go uh, for it. Just gonna move go behind for him for now. All right, <laughs> behind the wolf. <laughs> Protect my wolf. Uh, I mean, uh, vague ridden, vague spore ridden skeleton. He was attacking Bongo last time, so he would just continue doing that anyways. Oh, I hit you! Holy shit! Six damage. Sorry, I was muted. I'm going to use my luck point. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I would like to live. <laughs> okay, you got it. Yeah. Whew. I'm alive. You did kind of pay for that with a point of dex. Yeah. Uh, among the other things that you got. Uh, independent, so he's going to attack the wolf. Miss. Damn. Wolf's hanging on. Uh, envious. Uh, you're technically over this space. Yeah, he can. He can reach it. Yeah, he can reach it. Yeah. But maybe he's gonna miss. Gong bonk. Bite the zombie beside me. Yep. Do it up. Uh, that hits. 
13 damage. He does. Uh, he makes his save. Um... Yeah, I, I guess it's everything for now. What is it to drop? I forget what it is to drop form. Uh, to drop form, it's normally the same type of action as to to, to change back as it is to change into it. Um, theoretically, he, like he could he could do it as a bonus action because he's he's a moon druid, so he can do it much faster than a regular druid. That's what I was thinking. I didn't know if the drop was the same or if the drop was like a free and then he could bonus action back in. No, weirdly enough, it's not a free because you still have to like shift back per se. Yeah. yeah. It's not like a spell. Yeah, I think, I think they just do it free. so you can't like rapid fire go through the forms once you reach higher level. Uh, bongo. Well, shit. Bongo's gonna just stab with his daggers. Uh, the narrow-minded. Okay. 16. That'll hit. Are you going to finish him off with the second one, then? Yeah, bonus action. Finish him off. Okay. He did. And then, yeah, I'll, like, stand more in front of Shine Shine. And that's all I can really do. You're finishing him off, finally. Uh, yeah, we're still in round 9. Okay. Round 10 hasn't happened yet. Oh, enigmatic. Oh, that's a miss. Soft spoken. Gonna attack the wolf. Hit for seven damage. He's dead. All right. Uh, how much, how much, d uh, damage overflowed to you? Uh, six. Okay. You are back to being you. Go ahead and apply whatever was left. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna do it like this. Do it like this. All right. Oof. Oof. Good looking, Myko Zombie. He's like, hey, he's not a wolf anymore. But he still sucks. Oh, this guy's gonna come up. He's like trying to hit around the corner. That is a miss. Uh, so top of round 10. Uh, Buddha, you're the one that did this before. So uh, let's have someone else do this this time. Um, no. let's do talking with Adam. Um, I need one second. Ugh. Can I get a D, uh, D10, please? Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Okay, can I get another D10, please? <laughs> Five. One, two, four, five. Okay. Gone. There's one guy left. Uh, as they all begin to dissolve and disintegrate into spores, unfortunately, because they disintegrated, they do not get count towards the experience you will get. Um. Oh. Yeah. Shine, shine. Your go. It's going to be shocked to just. That they all disappeared and then just. Yeah. There's like one dude left. That's it. Yep. Yeah, nope. Moving 25. Right, so technically two moving. dudes left, but I'm, you know, I'm just going to say that you're probably going to end up finishing him off, so. I was just flawless. Just last ridden skeleton here. Yeah, and you're easily gonna finish him off, so I'm just gonna end combat there. Um, holy shit. <laughs> huh. Trying to open this chest for Bezos. Yeah. Woo boy. Yeah, let's uh 
uh, since you can see everything, you know, let's let's just like bring all the chests in. So here, this locked Lock one forever. there. There's one there. I made it worse. There's one there, and we got like a guy there. Here, I'll stack them all up. Don't worry, Bongo. I've got this. No, it's a it's a magic lock that's never gonna open. It's impossible. I, I come equipped with the perfect tool. Oh, you got one of those skeleton keys? Amazon Something Basics like 18 that. inch wrecking bar. Yes. So it's just a crowbar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, athletics check with advantage, please. Jeez. Uh, yeah, that's going to open it up. Uh, so that is going to be... Burp. That one is now <laughs> open. Actual description from an Amazon fucking crowbar. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, so that one's got a bunch of currency in it and some uh, objects of art. Uh, does the loot item not work for... like a, uh, So the loot button doesn't work for you guys? It just does not work. That is weird. I thought it was working before. I like tested it okay. earlier. Unless I'm doing something wrong. No filter. But so we'd all get what total once we sell all the stuff and whatnot? We get three point six. Uh, yeah. I guess if you just want to calculate it into gold, that would probably be the easier way for this, eh? If you just want yeah. to split it evenly. Oh, oh. three gold. Six silver? Uh, three gold, six silver. So, uh, yeah, if everyone just wants to take three, add three gold and six silver uh, onto yourself, we will just hide this. It goes away. Get rid of that. Art. Uh, start. Perfect. What about these other ones? I would like to check them for traps. Uh, oh. it's not dying. All right. All right. Go ahead and check the check for traps. Oh, An investigation. I almost fucked that up. I'm just going to be Thanks. a thousand of a potion. Um, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, seems clear. Looks good. Five. Seems clear. Looks good. I'm going to try to open it. Okay. Uh, you open it. No trap. You're fine. Hey, potions Don't for be a minute. And a potion of heroism. I just want to leave it to the dice for the potion of heroism. Yeah. Uh, rollies. Uh, rollies. Sure. I mean, two hundred gold. We should sell it. Uh, yeah, you can you can roll a d five, or if uh, or if does someone doesn't want it, I'd, I'd leave it up to you how to figure it out. Is it actually worth two hundred gold? Uh, you can't sell potions, unfortunately. Okay. Just like mundane items and treasure and stuff. The potion oh, vendor gets fault. upset. And I grabbed one of each potion. Are we rolling the. Yeah, for the potion, because we can't sell it. Nope. Savage, Kirby. Just want it. Oh, look. Kirby? No, I was listed up for it. Alright. Alright, whoever got I that 12. It. Yeah, it's all yours. And I took one of the one of each of the potions as well. Sure. I just slid it, them yeah. over. Everyone can grab a yeah. potion of energy, potion of healing. I'm not sure what the loot and button doesn't another. work. It bothers me. And there's another gold for each of us. And there's another gold, yeah. We're only supposed to get one potion, right? Not five of them. One potion, yeah. Just lower that. I dragged him over. This is at five. L lower that by, by there four. There we go. Uh, maybe I have the permission set in properly for the, the token on the chest? Mm, no. I don't know. Weird. Alright, next chest. Let's go. Let's All try. Right. I'm yeah. going to check up for traps. Okay, check up traps. Yeah, it looks fine to me. You want to open this one, Bezos? Oh, no, you seem pretty confident. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah I'm pretty confident. I'm going to open it. Uh, you're going to open it? All right. Uh, 
this inventory. Uh, it works out to another eight silver piece of stuff if you just want to add it as the gold. Skip the selling step. So if everyone wants eight silver, go for it. Yep. And uh, checking the traps again. Yeah. You, you, you want to even help me look, Josh? Like, are you just going to watch? Yeah, 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 I'll help him. Well, All right, go ahead. No, no, you stay over there, Josh. I, I got this. I, I rolled a 19. Uh, 19 is <laughs> enough to detect there is indeed a trap on it, actually. It looks like there's an explosive rune on the lock. I'll walk away from it. Uh, yeah, Josh, things going to explode. So uh, safe. I, 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 do I feel like if I tried to disable it, it might explode? Uh, if you roll badly enough. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm okay on that. I don't do, I don't do runes. You, 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 you conk bonk, you look like you do, you do magic stuff. Come dispel this. Doing anything? Oh no, I don't have anything to spell with. Well, you can just like try. Try. Just try. Just try. Tr just try to disarm it. If Conkwalk doesn't want to try, I'll try. <laughs> Cause wait, 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 hold on. Does anybody have any healing of any sort? No. Yeah, we just got those potions. Oh well, yeah, aside from the potions that we just got. No. Okay. Fuck well, it. I'll, I'll do it. I got the Yeah, yeah. Well, well, no, well, yeah. Yeah, okay. You are the you're the beefiest. Uh Can I use sleight of hand for it to like somehow erase the rune? Uh sleight of hand I don't think would really apply cuz it's like for like deceptively doing something. Um I would allow arcana um either tinker tools or thieves tools. Um if you can convince me okay. of something else, go oh, I've for got it. None of that. Here, here. Uh, <laughs> I've got uh, none I, of that. I got it. Just, just get me up if I die. I'm getting out of here. Ah, <laughs> uh, seven. Seven. Can I offer the help action on that. Uh, yeah, I'd allow that. Sure. So go ahead and roll with an advantage. Roll, roll again. Ten, still not enough, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, so I, I do need a deck save for everyone that's in the room. Oh yeah, because you were helping me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I should make my save. Hold on. Uh, okay, it's only a DC 12, so you both make it. You're both going to take half. Um, as it explodes into... Wow, that was a piss poor roll. Five fire damage. So you take two. Does it destroy the stuff inside? Uh, the chest does indeed explode to splinters. Um, however, you don't see rubble of anything else that was in the chest. It looks like it was probably empty. Awesome. Awesome. Almost died to an explosive chest. <laughs> an empty explosive chest. And there you go. Uh, Funny, because there's like a hidden chest in the bottom here, but it's not an actual item. <laughs> Just on the map, there's a oh, chest uh, there. That's where I had the one chest. And there's actually a wall there. Oh. Uh, originally, because you guys couldn't see through walls, I was hoping you just open the door, see some boxes, and be like, ah, whatever, and then move on, not seeing the chest. <laughs> mm. Um... I was being sneaky. So we're splitting that gold and stuff. Uh, so, so I mean, you guys already like we we're, we were calling out the gold to type in as we went, right? Oh, because you were saying like I thought. No, oh, I didn't even get it then. You got a total of five gold, fourteen silver, each. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I've added. 
since we started. Oh, that was four gold and 14 silver. You might have got the extra gold when you opened up the other oh. one chest. Oh, no, yeah, if it's four gold, you're right. Yeah, four gold. Uh, four gold, 14 silver. Also, 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 uh, each one of your, you can add it to your overlords and then dump it on your character as you see fit, but you're each going to get an extra uh, 200 experience points for your characters. Nice. So you said dump it on our overlord? Well, normally if you... Uh, you can just put it straight in your character if you want. Uh, normally you put it on your overlord because if you have multiple characters, you can just like bank it until you want to spend it on a character. Uh, it's up to you where you put it. I don't... I'm good either way. The, the new character sheets don't give the option to put in experience. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, oh, I think I still have experience turned off because we were doing milestones. One second. Uh... Disable experience tracking. Let's turn that off. Save. Uh, we probably have to reload before we can see it. Um, but it's 200 experience. Uh, we'll just have to reload to do it. Um, we're just kind of doing a cleanup now where, like, we're deleting, like, magical items and stuff like that. So I'm going to end the stream at this moment. Thank Close you for joining sheet. for our first dungeon slug back, um, getting back into the swing of things, just getting things smoothed out because we haven't done this stuff in a while. But uh, yeah, good times. Uh, you never know how it's going to end up with dungeon slug. Uh, that was uh, almost perfectly timed, despite being a shit show of randomness. So thank you everyone for joining. Uh, um, since I'm on YouTube now and I'm not 